The Most Unusual and Strange Video Cards Part 4 Greetings to the viewers of the channel. Today I will start a short tour of the most unusual and outlandish video cards ever produced in the world. I'm sure many of them will be unknown to you. Power Color Sniper HD 5770 Plus Killer Nick This video card is unusual in that it has a network controller soldered next to the video outputs. So it's a hybrid of a video card and a network card. Thus, engineers tried to reduce network delays, but the idea did not take root. Radeon HD 3850 AGP This video card is unusual in that it is a top-end video card for its time and at the same time with the old AGP interface. So this video card is the most powerful one possible for the AGP bus. S3 Chrome S27 This video card in 2004 tried to compete in the middle price segment, but bugs in the drivers did not allow this card to become popular. S3 Graphics Chrome 540 GTX Another attempt by S3 to capture the video card market in 2009. Again, the map failed due to endless errors in the drivers. Sapphire Atlantis Radeon 9800 PRO Max This unusual video card on the AGP bus had two 9800 PRO video chips on board, and was a serious competitor to NVIDIA video cards. Sapphire Toxic Radeon X1900 XTX and X1950 XTX The card has an unusual water cooling system. At the time of its release in 2006, it was a real curiosity. Sparkle Caliber 560T The video card has an unusual cooling system. The fan tilt angle can be changed manually. Sparkle Force GTX 571 The video card is unusual in its performance. The very hot GTX 570 chip is packaged in a single slot configuration. XGI Volari Duo V8 Ultra This dual chip video card was planned to displace ATI and NVIDIA in the early 2000s. The card was suffering from overheating, and the drivers were full of errors. In terms of performance, the video card was worse for the same price than competitors' products. Zotac Force GTX 1080 TPGF The video card stands out for its unusual illumination, both the front side and the side and back sides are highlighted. Zotac Force GTX 960 Extreme 3D Storm The video card has an unusual cooling system. Three large fans below the board from the lower side, and on the upper side there are two more 40mm fans. It's strange to see such a powerful cooling system on a mid-level GTX 960 chip. Zotac GT 610 PCI A video card with a PCI interface and a relatively powerful GT 610 chip. This chip is powerful for this interface, since it is simply impossible to load this video card at full capacity via the PCI interface. Zotac IN GPU AE this video card is unusual in everything. First, the PCI EX1 interface. Secondly, the GT218 chip was used, which was intended only for laptops. The heat output of this chip is only 18W, so the presence of a fan is not clear. That's all for now. Write in the comments what strange video cards you know.